I'm going to talk about Canadian red cherry, Canada red cherry, choke cherry, I guess whatever you want to call them on their common names, whatever. So yeah, we have some cherry there. They're very tart and bitter. Uh, this is Jamin with Parker Tree Service. Today I'm in Longmont, Colorado. And what I want to talk about is um, two problems, two issues that I see with <clears throat> Canadian red cherry in the area. And I've already discussed this in other videos, but the topic is um, Cytospora canker, or you can call it Cytospora canker, whatever you want. So these little gamosa sites that are now hard, hard resin, um, these show you that the tree have been the tree has been managing disease through the creation, and the, kind of the secretion of gum. And when that gum gets hard, it turns resinous, and so it's very, very hard. Uh, the issue with that is <clears throat> it can clog up the actual vascular system. So without a good, healthy supply of water, whether it's normal precipitation or irrigation, without a healthy supply of water, a tree will not be able to manage disease on its own. Therefore, it needs intervention. And that could be done through... A fungicide and what we're doing are trunk injections to do that to be able to help the tree manage disease the second issue that I have and I see and I've addressed this in other videos with uh, locust is squirrel damage so what the squirrel do actually I'm gonna back up and go back over here <clears throat> what they do is they'll see some of that fresh gamosis oozing out of the tree and they'll tend to chew around and strip off the bark because uh, it's kind of softer. Let's see. It must be slightly sweet to the taste or something. There has to be some sort of interest. Uh, that's not a fair one. I'll, I'll go look over here. I've already seen some and I'll point some out. Uh, but the problem is they make they create a little too much damage. They peel more and more and more. And when they peel a lot, now I'm gonna have to zoom in a little bit if I can. There, there's a branch there, it kinda has a dog leg to the right, okay? So there is the parent stem. There is a vertical branch and that branch kinda curves like a dog leg. So that branch has been successfully chewed completely all around its circumference. What that means is the vascular system has been completely cut off. And likewise, if I pan over, sorry, it's kind of a gray day, we can see more squirrel damage over here. And if you're curious to see more squirrel damage, I'm going to come back out. Curious to see more squirrel damage, say, on my YouTube channel. I, caught, I actually have a playlist on this subject. So there's a branch that crosses on top of another one that is completely damaged. So here's what I'm seeing. The first branch that I pointed out has that little dog leg kind of to the right. Curls up and over and it oops, grows up and over the top here. I'm going to zoom out again. What it is, um, the issue is, I know the vascular system has been cut off, so that branch is going to very likely die back. The, the question is when? When will it happen? Well, maybe next year. Maybe even by the late summer of just this late summer as it gets hotter and that can be uh, say it'll, it may start to wilt uh, so those are general concerns that I have for uh, the Canadian red cherry Canada, Canada red whatever you want to call them in my area so again it's first cytospora canker that's a fungal disease that clogs up the vascular system two uh, because of the gamosis it attracts squirrels squirrels are getting more than what they need I think and so then again as I'm talking and they are stripping the bark and when they successfully go completely around the branch they're cutting it off cutting off the flow of water supply that means it's kind of delayed on the um, death and dieback of certain branches and for someone like myself that does want to do quality tree pruning we can be in a tree pruning conundrum when let's say we pruned the tree now and then next year it died the last person that touched the tree would be a tree professional myself right hey what happened you missed a spot you didn't get that or 
if we're in the winter time and we're working and then we have that conundrum as, as well where the insects may have cut off the vascular flow and then we have issues of quality that could be said hey you missed a spot there's a bunch of dead branches in there the following spring well i've said this in other videos too is that's not always the case we do scratch tests whether it's the summertime or the winter time and those scratch tests help us to uh, scratch the surface of a branch to see if it's truly dead or alive at that present time we are actually in the tree anyway